Hey, Graceful Creations family. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Anika. I'm just doing some simple gifts. I'm getting ready. I'm preparing gifts for a pop-up shop that I'll be um, hosting in the weeks to come. I'll be vending in the local mall as well as at another event at... Um, a local church they're having like a holiday bazaar and so I'm putting together smaller smaller gifts I'll be taking some gift baskets but not a tremendous amount and let me tell you why um it's only one table so you, you get one table and with limited space like that it's not even trying to haul in a bunch of gift baskets it's three hours so what I'm gonna do is I'm going, I'm going to sell yardstick reefs. I've begun making those. I'll also be selling candles and small gifts similar to this. Stuff like this. This is a Bath and Body Works set in a basket. So it'll be small stuff like that that's easy for me to carry but pricey. This will be about $40. I'll sell this for $40. Um, so it has the body wash, the soap, body wash lotion, and a candle, pretty gift basket and ornament, you know, as part of the actual bow. And so I'm going to take stuff like that, which is easy, you know, something easy for me to tote. And I'm bagging stuff up. I mean, I've got all kinds of stuff that I'm going to take. And so this is just a simple gift. It's a candle. Nothing spectacular. People like stuff they can smell. Now, unfortunately, they won't be able to open this one up. But it's a candle that I'm putting in a bag. And I'm going to put a cute little bow on it. And it's just going to be really, really cute. Um, that's how I'm going to sell it. Literally. So I'm going to use... You can use that um, regular ribbon for this. But I'm going to put a bow on it, too. So I'm securing it with pipe cleaner. So, if you have this idea, if you're going to be doing some craft shows and stuff, and you want to sell some items, this is what I'm doing. It's a good idea. I can probably sell this for $10. Each candle, $10. And I've got more. These came from Hobby, Hobby Lobby, I think, for $2.49. And so, of course, I tried to buy as many as I could. Now, I'm just going to tape it down. So it'll look a little more uniform, and I want it to sit down. Now, don't ask me how to tape it. I'm trying to tape it like I would tape a gift basket, but I don't know. That's a good one. Good question. Okay, what am I doing here? I don't like it puffy. With that poof, I don't like it poofy. I'm just being honest, so that's why I'm doing all this taping. Because I don't like it that way. I like it to be kind of laying down. Kind of like that. You see that? You know? So I'm not shrinking wrapping this. Shrinking wrapping. <laughs> I'm not doing shrink wrap, but I'm going to go ahead on and put a bowl on top of here. And maybe even an ornament. I'm really digging the ornaments, y'all. So I may put a bow and have the ornament on it. I've tried to do it with just the ornament, but it has not been successful. But, um, so that's how I'm going to do. I do need to put a bow on it. I don't know what kind of bow I'm going to It's blue, so I really want it to kind of match. Excuse me. Um, I don't know. Let's see what we can do. Let me find some ribbon. Y'all, I am all the way on the struggle bus on this one because I could not... Well, where are my scissors? I could not find... What is my scissors? Lord, I lose my scissors like I just lose anything. Okay. So I lost my scissors, but I'm back. I struggled trying to find some um, ribbon to match this. I mean, all I've 
I got a lot of Christmas ribbon. Y'all have tons of ribbon. I've really invested in ribbon. Now, I wanted to put this on it because of the blue. It's a good match. What should I have put green? I don't know. I'm going to put silver on it. And I don't know if silver's going to clash with that color. But we're going to try. And we're going to try to make it work. We're not going to use a lot of ribbon. I'm going to use this. No, that's going to be too much. I'm going to use this one. Just regular silver. So let's see what we can do. It's not gonna, it doesn't need to be long because as you can see, this is just a regular bag that we're putting it on. It's just a candle, but I want it to be elegant and I want it to be pretty. Something nice that, you know, will draw the eye in. Of course, this ribbon I think was a dollar. So simply priced, reasonably priced. So we're not going to do too much with the ribbon, okay? Normally I overdo it with the ribbon, but we're not going to overdo it this time. We're going to make a simple bow, okay? And this must be Dollar Tree ribbon because it's getting on my nerves already. Y'all, I don't know what it is about. When I buy ribbon from Dollar Tree, I don't know if I'm just too new at making bows and I just don't have the hang of it like I should, but it's aggravating the quality of their ribbon. It's it's totally different. It's not the same as Hobby Lobby, and it's not the same as Joanne. You know, you get what you pay for sometimes. Not knocking it, but you, you get what you pay for. Now, we're going to embellish this a lot. I'm going to just tell you that. Because although it's going on there, we want to make it pretty. So I'm also going to include, if it'll fit, I'm going to try to dovetail this. So I'll have some strips to make it cute. Okay? And we'll just put these strips, you know, kind of like, like that on it. Okay? I learned that from LBE Gift Express. You just got to make it do what it do. Pretty is the game, okay? Pretty is the game. I don't care if your gift that you're selling is $10, $15. And I know y'all have seen my videos and y'all have heard me say, well, I normally don't sell $10 gifts. But for a pop-up shop, I am because people are looking for Black Friday and those places, you know, on those holidays, people are looking for the best bang for their buck. They are not coming out to break the bank, and they're not going to have to. They're going to get some good deals when they stop by my table, okay? They're going to get the deals. Let's see if this will work, because this is kind of short. I'm trying to twist this in. They're going to get the good deals, believe that. But I'm just saying... Hold on, y'all. Trying to make it make sense. It's not long enough, what I tried to do. It got to be longer. My pieces need to be longer. So bear with me. Make sure your pieces are long enough. Not extremely long, but long enough. Because these are going to go as part, of, as part of the bow. And so I'm improvising. I know I said I was going to do an ornament, but half the time, if I see something working better... I just change up. I ain't gonna lie. I do. And that's okay because I'm a crafter. Sometimes the idea that you got at that moment, it, it just changes. Go with your creative flow. How about it? If you just tuned into the channel, I am Anika. Welcome. Thank you for joining me tonight. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate you stopping by. It is such an honor and a privilege for you to join me tonight. So I'm going to be quiet for a minute and just work. How about it? I have a tendency to just talk, 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 talk. And I think that's just the presenter in me where you don't like a lot of dead hair. And I'll fix the, the size of that side. Yeah, the presenter in me, you know, if I'm presenting to a group doing a presentation at work, Dead space and dead air is not cool. 
it's like watching the news and the people just stop and nobody's talking or improvising or there's not a good flow it's weird um, and so that's just a habit that I have where I want to just keep on talking please forgive me if it's a distraction for you it's not my intent it's just how I flow what are y'all doing for the holidays? Have you made up in your mind? Are you selling baskets this year? Are you crafting? Are you making gifts for your church family, friends? What you doing this year? I want to know. Put it in the comments. Are you selling this weekend? What are y'all doing? I don't like how this just doesn't seem too tight, but I think it'll work. Just keep twisting until it feels like it's tight enough. I normally tie my stuff, but this will do. <sighs> I love crafting. Love trying to some new things. And so, let's go ahead and fluff this bow out before we put it on. Let's try to make it make sense. Again, I bought this, I purchased this ribbon from Dollar Tree. And I'm not a fan of some of the ribbons. Some of the stuff is really nice and some is just cheap. For this gift, it's an inexpensive gift for a pop-up table that I'm selling. So I think it's fine. See how pretty that is? It gives more than one tail. But this needs to be cut down some because it's too long. Try to make sure it's consistent with your other side. And so y'all saw what I did. I just put the bow. I just got a, got a bow. Put together a bow. And then I cut some strips. Dovetailed them or whatever you call it. To get this little V. Right there. And now I'm going to go ahead and put this on. And so it just looks like a, look at this bow. This is beautiful. Look. Ain't that cute? It's just a cute little bow. And it's just going to go on just like that. Now y'all already know, most of the time my bows are too big. So let me pull it in a little bit more, because it is too big. So I'm making it a little smaller. Yeah, smaller is better for this gift. Make sure that your bows are proportionate to the size of your item. Y'all see here my item is not but so big. So I don't need a really, really wide or long bow. I could have even put a small bow on here. And so I'm just going to cut down these ends a little bit more. And this gift is going to sell between $10 and $12. More than likely, I'll sell it for $10. It's just a candle um, that I purchased from Hobby Lobby. I'm finding when I do pop-up shops, people want things they can see, touch, smell, okay? So the five senses is what you're trying to really stimulate. I feel like when you do a pop-up, so you, you, want it, you want it to be something they can see. You know, you want it something that... Part of the five senses. Let me rephrase it. They want something that they can touch. And they want, you know, something that they can pick up. People like to pick up stuff. Well, what is this? And they see what it is. And, you know, they get excited. So we just go with it. So I wanted to make sure I sold these little items. It may seem insignificant. And you may say, mm -mm, I'm not selling nothing for $10. But trust me. When I go to pop-up shops, I buy stuff that's cheap. I really, really do. And I'll buy more than one. Like something like this as a gift, I can give this, you know, to my coworkers. If I saw this, this is pretty. Look at that. I, I know the light is glaring off because of the color of the ribbon, but that's pretty. If I saw something like that, because I give my coworkers candles, I would buy that. One for each, you know. Because it's pretty. Now, if you want to go a little further. Here's a little ornament with some silver. You wanted to stick an ornament on it? You actually can. Look at that. That's beautiful. 
But I think we're going to stick with this one. Because it has blue. See that? We're going to stick this on it. And we're probably going to end up selling this for $15. With the ornament. And the bow. It's pretty. So, now I do have a little tear on the paper. But I still may end up selling this for $15. Between... 10 and 12. Maximum 15. It could go for 15, by the way. Because I would buy it for $15. I'd be like, oh yeah, I'll buy that. And pretty with a bow, pretty like that. Y'all, I'm having a ball. <laughs> These are just ornaments that I bought from Hobby Lobby for $1.99, and they were half off, so they were a dollar. And I'm going to stick that right there. I think it's fine. It'll be fine. Isn't that cute? Oh my God, that's stinking adorable. So stinking cute. My glue gun been cutting up too, by the way. I don't know why, but it's been acting up. So I'm just putting a little glue, a little bit on the stems too. So it's going to, you know, dry in multiple places. To make sure it doesn't come off. So it's a part of the ribbon now. Don't don't make, don't get it twisted. It's definitely a part of this ribbon. And I'm just gluing it right on here. Hold it down in place for a few minutes. Kind of secure. Just like that. Like so. Isn't that cute? Y'all, this is so adorable. These gifts with these ornaments are everything. And that's what you want at a pop-up shop or when you're doing some crafts, no matter what it is. You want it to catch people's eye. You want them to be able to say, oh, I like that. That's cute. So I'm just letting it sit a little bit so the glue can melt. And I'm going to clean that up. Cut off the rest of the pipe cleaner and we're going to be on our way. This is adorable simple gift the candle like i stated was 249 the ornament was a dollar and let's say 25 cents for the ribbon so this is a five dollar gift y'all that i'm gonna probably sell between 12 and 15 dollars and people are gonna buy it because it's cute and i also have cute gift bags to put them in this is giving. Super cute. Now, I want my bag to be even, so I'm just going to go straight across. And if you want, you can, you can do it how we would do a gift basket. There you go, to make sure it's even. But this is just adorable. I am so pleased with it. I am so pleased. I know I sound corny. Pleased. And these are simple gifts people can buy for the household. You know, for your sisters, your cousins, your aunties. Look at that. Let's push the leaves back a little and kind of try to maneuver it. This is so cute. Now, a little, sometimes I feel like, oh, did I take away from my bow? But I didn't. Let's spray these leaves out. Because the bow was cute by itself. This just gave it a extra, some extra oomph and it added value. So let me let you see. Isn't that adorable? With the beautiful ribbon, the silver ribbon added. That is so cute, y'all. Super cute. Again, these are little gifts for the pop-up show. I mean, the pop-up event. Twelve to fifteen dollars is what I'm charging. And it's going to sell. No doubt. 
That's what people are coming for. You know, they're going to be looking for little stuff like that. Now, if I hadn't embellished it, it wouldn't be, I don't think it would sell for the amount of money that it's going to sell for. But guess what I did? I embellished it. Now, I have a mom candle here. I also have this. So, I'm debating. I like how the purple matches the other purple. What I want to do, though, is put a, um, like a little sponge right here. That's what I like to do. But if I'm not able to do it, I'm trying to think how I want it to go. Because I have a vision of what I think. It's too much space on the top to not add something to it. So I could add a flower in here and bag it. Yeah, I've been waiting to use this one. But it, I think it takes away from it. It's too big. Um, trying to think, y'all. I'm trying to think. Because I really want to sit the gift on this. And sit it like in a bag. But I want something to go with this. A scrunchie would be fine, but it would overpower that. So I, I just gotta think that through. I don't know. And I could put it in there like this and just bag it up and sit the scrunchie like on that side in the bag, like a grab and go. But I don't know. What do y'all think? I'm not feeling it's not giving. Not yet. I also have this. I actually want to stick up candles on top. Like this. Not this one. But and put it in a bag and wrap it up. It'll be a gift set. A candle and a hand care set. I need to get a pink candle. Let me try to find a pink candle. Okay, I think I have what I want. So I've got a candle here. This candle was purchased from Michaels and it was on sale for $2.50. They were two for five dollars. Or oh, well, four for ten. So two for five. So, $2.50, y'all. Very nice candle. Smells great. Always smell it. Because you don't want to just give people on anything. Because it may be not so fragrant. This was $5.50. I pay regular price because I'm trying to, you know, hurry up and stock up on gifts. So, this is not, I can't say, oh, I paid $2. It was on sale. No, I paid $5. I think it was $5.50. No, $5.00. I think $5 or $5.50. It is a hemp hand care set. This came from Big Lots. They got a lot of these little eyes and ends that you can put in a gift basket or you can sell it like this. I'm selling it like this. And I'm going to put it in a bag, shrink wrap it, put a pretty bow on it. You can tape this down, but I don't think I need to tape it being that I'm going to shrink wrap it. So let's just see what happens. Again, another inexpensive gift. Um, this bag is too small. So, you can put it in cellophane, which I don't typically use. I think I'm going to have to get it. Oh, no, no. I bought some shrink wrap bags from Family Dollar. I think this is going to be too big, but I'm going to use it. You'll see what I'm talking about because it's going to have a lot of excess. But it will be all right. We'll tape it down and do the best we can. 
And I know I skipped over the other candle, the other blue candle, but you already saw what I did with that. So you already have the gist of what you can do. It just gives you another idea of how you want to set up your table if you're doing a pop-up or, you know. This bag, again, is too big. Sorry for the noise. Sorry about that. I don't have any smaller bags. I think this is a 24 by 30 um, that'll fit because as y'all can see, the 16 don't. So, these the bags come in 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. I think it's an odd number. I mean, even number. When I order on my V-line. But, like I said, it's the holiday for the family dollar or even dollar three. Look at all that space. Way too big, but we're gonna make it work. If you have cellophane, you use it. I'm not. Not today. But I'm gonna look like this. And I'm gonna tape it down and I'm gonna shrink it. You can also cut it if you want. This would have probably worked better if I used cellophane, but I don't have any right now, so I'm not sweating it. Not sweating it, y'all. Not sweating the small stuff. Working with what I got. It'll be all right. We're going to be all right, okay? If you haven't liked, please like the video. Please share it if you know somebody that's going to be crafting. Take it down. You do need to take it. Okay, this is just too much left to my tape. It's going to be fine, but tape it down. See, it's going to tape down just fine. I'm letting some of the air out. And I'm doing that so it doesn't look like a huge balloon. Look at that. Hey. It's working. It's going to work. It's going to be fine. I'm going to take it a little more. And all this is going to shrink up anyway. But it'll be next time. May have a little bulge in the back, but you'll be okay. It'll be all right. Don't stress about it. Don't even sweat the small stuff, y'all. Don't do it. It ain't worth it. All right, let's see what happens when we shrink wrap it. For those of you that have never seen shrink wrapping, because you're using cellophane only, here we go. If you're wondering, I am using a heat gun. This is a 1500 Warrior. I think I can I got it for $16 from Harbor Freight. When it goes on sale, it's usually like $9.99, y'all. Look how much better that looks. Doesn't that look a lot more professional? Don't worry about the bag. The bag was too big. So it's a little gathered, but it's perfectly fine. It will do. This is just some of the excess tape I had. It melted down, so just pull that off. But yeah, it'll be fine. If your bag was fitting, it wouldn't be that much bunched up, but it's okay. Your gift is in place, okay? This candle was kind of heavy for this box, so 
if you wanted to stick a piece of cardboard on it or like pink cardboard paper um you could but i think this is fine like i said this was 550 that was two dollars and fifty cents so what we got eight dollar gift that i'm probably gonna sell for twenty dollars between 22 and 24 dollars make no mistake about it because once i put the bow on it i may even sell it for more than that depends on how nice the bow is i think i said i liked i'll probably put this one on it a christmas bow um It's pink. I've been trying to go with solid colors. This is pretty good. I don't know. Hold on, y'all. Let me look for more ornaments. I think I'm going to go with this. Even though it's pink, I'm, I think I'm going to go with a peach. It'll be fine. And put this on it. Look, <laughs> y'all. I I I go so far off the deep end when it comes to thinking outside the box. I'm just being honest because you gotta mix it up. Do stuff that you just don't see nobody doing. You know, I don't know if anybody's sticking ornaments on their gifts, but I am. You know, I I just think it's pretty. It puts a different spin on it. It's Christmas. Make it pretty. So I'm making a bow. Twist. Loop. Make sure it's proportionate in size. Twist it. This is not a two-sided ribbon so we're twisting and going for it okay hope you all are catching the concept i think this ribbon was a dollar so i've used it multiple times so we're good you know i don't think we're overdoing it with the ribbon Now, I know we've got the green, but I'm not worried about that. Not on there, but we want to make sure we get a different color. Pipe cleaner on here. I have to find some. I think I'm going to use. Oh, we'll do a red. Okay, and so what I've done was actually went ahead and put the bow on. I'm just waiting on people to stop being rude right now because they see me recording a video. So I put the bow on. I went ahead and put the bow together. I put the bow on. As you can see, it's very pretty. I just got to shape it. I typically will curl it. When it, you know, when it looks like it's going to act weird, I typically just curl it up or curl it under. And I'm actually putting a flower on here, right on the front, to seal the deal, okay? So let's get that done. I was thinking about putting an ornament, but I just, I don't have a pink looking one or a peach, so I don't want it to be too many colors on here. So we're just gonna keep it simple with a flower. We do want it embellished because, remember, we're trying to sell we want to sell items that are unique and that speaks to our signature style. So when somebody sees this and they have purchased from me before, they know, oh, Anika made that. That is so pretty. Okay.
How y'all doing? Please like, share the video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done it. This will be the last gift. Um, I hope you've gotten, you know, at least two good ideas of what you can do differently. As you can see, every day doesn't have to go in a gift basket. You know, this is just a plain gift set. Not plain, but this is a gift set. You know, I will more than likely sell this for between $25 and $28. Trying to think. Not $30, I don't think. I don't think $30, but I don't know. It depends on. Depends. So I'll, I'll marinate on it. Put in the comments how much you think this should sell for. In case you didn't hear the price. This was $5 and I think 50 cent or $5. This was $2.49. And of course we got ribbon and stuff from Dollar Tree. So let's say $2. So $5.50, $8, $10. So the rule of thumb I've heard is three times what you you know would have paid and so i think we can get away with this is just hand and lotion nail kit set oh it has a storage bag so i think this will sell easily for 25. i don't think people would be in awe if they saw this and they, and they had a 25 dollar price tag I really don't. I think this is fine. So, thank you all so much for tuning in to Graceful Creations by Anika. Please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as you already know, peace out. Have a good one, y'all.